Cleveland's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Back to Smith. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The Warriors have gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. Outside Curry. From deep. And that one's good. And he's finally getting the field from beyond. His second three of the half right there. The Cavaliers trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Early on last year, it was clear Steph Curry was just on another level. It was an MVP candidate right from the start of the season, and he would eventually be voted that award. And, and I thought very deserving. You, you could see how he elevated his play, and, and so many of us and so much talk focuses on what he does offensively. But he was ahead of the snake of a terrific defensive group for Golden State a season ago, and that's one reason why he ended up being the MVP. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. He told us, guys, I know we can do this, fellas. Let's maximize every possession and get after it and just watch. Things will go our way. Kevin? Here's Green following the basket by Kevin Love, and he gets it to go. And with Curry winning his first NBA MVP award, he played the fewest minutes by an MVP in league history, mostly because his team was up by so much, he got to sit a number of fourth quarters. And on the way from Irving for three. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. A look from Durant, and all around the win that time before dropping in. Durant's got 24. The Cavaliers trail by six. And with Curry and the MVP, there, there was some pressure with Hart. Relatively close voting, but Curry was the clear winner. Hard to argue with the season he had leading his team to 67 wins last year. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. Something we've also seen them doing tonight is getting the long ball to go down. Big points from outside. Kyrie Irving may be the best ball handler in the league. There are a lot of guys with a good hand. He is definitely in the top five. If not, he's got to be in the conversation. And arguably the most talented oh, player at his position. I mean, he can get wherever he wants to on the court. He's athletic, an unbelievable finisher as well. I think that's something that oftentimes gets underrated. Maybe the best finisher in the game. Green. Here's Curry following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Curry gets the bucket. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Hey, great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. Warriors leading by three. And you know, Kyrie Irving really ambidextrous as a ball handler because you can't play him to one side, and he's ambidextrous as a finisher, too. He's so creative and crafty. Terrific at the rim with both hands. Excellent vision by Duran out there. What a nice pass. The Cavaliers trail by five. Irving kicks to Love. The screen from Thompson. Shumpert in the corner from deep. That's in there. Love with the assist. And one thing about Irving's ball handling, he does a great job of protecting the ball. A very low rate of turnovers for a player as aggressive as he is on the bounce. And the basket by Curry. Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Smith dishes to Irving. That's a pick by Love. That's a two from Smith. Rebound Bogut. Bogut's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Durant. Sweet little floater. And it's a six-point Warrior lead. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Now, here is Irving. Thompson. Shot is no good. Nice D from Bogut. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Durant kicks to Green. Misses the three. 
You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Moving against Curry. Outside jumper. Back to Love. Just five to shoot. There's three pointers off the mark. Warriors leading by six. And here we go. Some solid defense there from Irving. Now Cleveland moving it up. And there's J.R. Smith on the assist by Shumpert. And that's 17 points for Smith. And Bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Timeout called the Warriors. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan, and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. And Cleveland with a change here, too. LeBron, he's checked in for Iman Shumpert. And there's the pass to Green, stolen by Thompson. And it's sent back by Bogut. Pass to Curry. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got six assists here tonight. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Now here's Irving. Kicks it out to Love. Wide open look. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Durant's got his fifth rebound in this one. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the threes. Now here's LeBron. The kick out to Irving. And he gets the bucket. Irving's got 11 points here in just the second half. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Green with a screen for Curry. One fifteen left in the fourth quarter of this one. Three-pointer. No good. And that's playing into the hands of the defense right there. No way you can sneak that shot by him, Greg. I mean, he was all on top of that one. And they'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game. An excellent game we've seen from LeBron. He has 20 points. He's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tight. And they came out smoking here from beyond. And Greg, as hot as they are from out there, absolutely no reason at all not to just keep letting them fly. And so here's Cleveland. It's a pick by Love. LeBron kicks to Irving. Off the screen. Sinks it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Durant in the corner. Irving against Curry. Right side Durant. Four on the clock. Thompson outside. The basket good off the assist from Durant. And if you thought this game was over already, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's staring us right in the face, and we've been around long enough to know when a game is over. And this one is in that category. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Good! And now they trail by just four. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock 
is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. You know, mistakes there, good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're behind by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? And they still got a little time to play with, so a three and a quick foul could make things interesting. Yeah, but they need some help. They're going to need some help any way you look at it. I mean, they're hoping for some missed free throws at the other end. Here is Love. Count it! And now they trail by just four. How about that eclipse? What a screen by Smith. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Irving passes to James. He dishes it to Love. Fades away. But they get it back. So we see the Warriors get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed down the stretch, but they did what they needed to do and held their ground when it mattered most and got the W. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Clay Thompson. You were able to really help out your team on the offensive end. What enabled such a big night of productivity for you? Well, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now, and my teammates do a good job of finding me when I'm open, so all credit goes to them. I, I just catch and fire when I'm open. Thank you, Clay. We so appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you later. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey, y'all. Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome back for the presentation of our Jordan Player of the Game, Kevin Durant. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. What'd you think, Shaq? I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow. I'm getting jealous. And he feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. This was vintage Kevin Durant we saw tonight, fellas. Just tearing it up. He's got the most diverse set of skills out there from an offensive standpoint. There isn't anything he can't do. And defensively, he can do it as well. It's almost impossible to count all the ways Kevin Durant helps his team. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.